This is me trying to read Thai signage. Atapon Pok Kob Kong Santi. Atapon Pok Kob Kong Santi. Atapon Pok Kob Kob. <laughs> wow. Anyways, I'm at this beautiful park that I recommend you come visit right here in Bangkok. It is actually my favorite park right here in Bangkok and I recommend that you come check it out. Now this is actually just a glimpse of it and there is more to it you will highly appreciate on your visit right at this park. Amazing. Look at this view. If you're new here, my name is Kyle Graves and today is actually Labor Day and I'm taking you with me to a beautiful park right here in Bangkok. Look how beautiful this place is and the weather is amazing it is shining right now not so hot like some of the previous days because it's been raining a little bit and uh, wow look at this i believe this is a walking track and cycling i guess look how amazing this is and uh, Actually, Terminal 21 is a few blocks away, so you could do some shopping over there. I see a warning there, no swimming, but it is surely tempting to swim. I think there are a few people who have tried swimming in here. Oh, wow, what a beautiful park. What a beautiful park this is. Don't so this park no swimming and no smoking you could actually rent a bike over there or park your look at this the flowers are well manicured wow this is amazing wow and just up front over there providing enough shade for you to sit down and relax i think this is a great place for a picnic tell me what you think of this beautiful park right here in the city center of bangkok wow it's pretty amazing the water is so clean you could actually see through. I don't know if these are among the filters or just for the lighting at night. Wow, pretty amazing. It's my first time here in this park. And I'm highly appreciating its existence. Actually, when you stand or sit over here, you get a clear view of the beautiful skyline of these amazing buildings right here. I believe these must be office buildings. Wow, what a view. I'm imagining the guys who work in some of these buildings, the kind of view they have while working. It's pretty amazing. Actually, this is one of the things I love about Bangkok. Parks almost everywhere. And access to them is free.
this actually reminds me of the band in Shanghai. Oh, pretty amazing. It's a pretty amazing view they have right here. Oh, now this is quite interesting. Let me try see the writings over here. I wonder what this represents But if you're watching this and you know what this represents, please comment down below mm. Now I'm imagining what this place looks like It must be exquisite because it's daytime right now and it looks very very amazing so i'm trying to imagine what it is like when it's dark and uh turned on <laughs> now look at this huge tree i can only imagine how old it is Before knowing this park, my favorite park was Lumpini Park. But right now, after coming here, this is very much my this is very much my favorite park in Bangkok. After getting to know this park, previously, but, but now it's this park right here. Oh. Beautiful bars over here. I really, I really am um, in love with this. Now there is a, there is a map of the park right here. I want us to look at it. So you could have a clear understanding of what it is like. <clears throat> so right here we got uh, observation and park navigation sign. Now this reminds me of urban planning class I remember we used to have these kind of assignments hmm pretty interesting I would like to visit the studio that came up with these designs pretty amazing so if you're an urban planner or architect watching this video I hope this particular one gives you some inspiration or gives you some memories of what your work is like or what your classes were like as I enjoy this beautiful park For those who are wondering how to get to this particular path, I'm going to be putting links of uh, directions to this beautiful park. So just click the link 
and you'll be able to navigate your way to this amazing park. Very, very amazing. It's, it is actually a very huge park. And this is, I think I'm standing on the right here. So you could have a view of the park and uh, also enjoy the birds flying. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, give it a like, comment down below. Let me know what other places I could visit or places you recommend I could show you. So right here we have Public Park vs Forest Park. Wow. Wow. Now to me this looks a bit like I'm not pretty sure but I think it was a swampy area and if it actually was a swampy area this is one of the best ways to preserve swampy areas in any city I know in most cities if they have a swampy area they are gonna pour stone rocks and build it up put buildings over there which actually destroys the urban environment uh, now like for example where I come from this kind of project would pretty be amazing having all swampy areas within the city built up like this first it would make the environment look good beautiful provide some urban activity like walking, bird seeing, and second, it would uh, conserve the environment. This is pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty amazing. I love it. I love it. This is actually my best park right here in Bangkok, and I would definitely recommend if you get a chance to visit Bangkok add this place to your bucket list or to the places wow I'm very much impressed I feel like coming here every day I hope you're enjoying this video as much as I'm enjoying it myself. Wow. All right, we have another signage right here. Let's read it. So it says, tiny forests for water storage and retention. Amazing. Amazing. So the concept right here was the concept of an urban ecological forest park is credited to the traditional wisdom practiced by plantation owners for creating embankments of trees over water trenches and over the most use of localized resources. It adopts, the, it, it adopts a design that requires digging and creating mounds of earth outlined in the project planning. Okay. The result is pockets of tiny forests rising over surrounding surfaces of water. Through water tables, roots of trees are moist, moistened, are moistened sufficiently supporting a healthy tree growth. The scheme also slows down water evaporation to result in a cooler air on the flow. Naturally, the area serves as a water bank during rainstorms to cut down excess water flooding adjacent areas. 
This is what I'm talking about. Pretty genius. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I'm highly impressed with this. Oh my. Look at this. Now the simplicity in this is like a gold mine. Lots of values in this one single project of a park right here in Bangkok. Oh wow. Wow. This is by far the best park I've been to. Guys, if you're watching this video and you're in Bangkok right now or planning to travel to Thailand, please come visit this park. I'm finding it difficult to pronounce the name because it's my first time coming across the name. But each time I'll mention the word park. The name will appear on the screen. For those wondering why I'm wearing a mask in some parts of my videos, it's because uh, we still advise to wear masks over here, though it's still okay to move around without a mask. So at times I find myself wearing one. Wow. Wow. I'm so impressed. So this actually serves as a, an area that prevents flooding, you know? Because Bangkok is known to have heavy rains and is prone to flooding. So if they have pockets of water that could trap the water in here, it could help prevent flooding. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below and uh, recommend some other places I could go visit and share with the audience. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Make sure if you're flying to Thailand or planning to come by, add this park to one of those places you should visit. See you. You could actually watch the sunset setting from right here. There's a beautiful benches made from concrete. Amazing. And right here I'm at this signage that has the center of the universe. I could be standing at the center of the universe right now. <laughs> Joking. I thought I'd ended the video but more exciting stuff keeps on coming uh, it's about 5 p.m in the evening and the fountains have been turned on and this adds great value to the scenery wow, look at that i really feel like diving into this water right now Look at this view. There are actually about three fountains. One right there. And this one in the middle. And the other one over there. So roughly that's about three fountains, pretty amazing.
pretty amazing. Actually, evening hours are the best hours to come by so you could see the fountain already running. Plus, when the lights are almost 